final video, I take you through some of the finishing touches that I put on my conversion. And then I'll be all done. So this is where I'm at right now. Put some trim up. I stained. Yeah, it was messy. So that's going to get painted white. This is going to be left natural. So I have to sand it and then varnish it. I trim the ceiling. Don't like those gaps, so I'm going to get actually a smaller piece of trim to go around that and touch that up. My solar is all installed and working, so this is my fantastic fan. Look at that sucker. I was working today, putting in that light, and it literally sucked my hair in through the screen and through the fan. So if I come over here, you can see my switches. Now that was a challenge because I couldn't get it to go flush against the wall. The wall's not deep enough for these switches. So I just brought that out a little bit further. And this switch right here, when I flip that switch, watch that. Oh, I got light. And my battery's hooked in to my solar panel and I am charging very nicely. And what I have here is another light. Of course that works. My little electrical center right here is working. And my reading light is all set and ready to go. So I'm getting somewhere. There's light at the end of the tunnel. So I scored these really big rolls of upholstery fabric two yards for five dollars and so I got four yards for ten dollars I got a little foldable mattress off Craigslist and I took it out of the covers and I cut it to fit and it's 36 inches wide and only two inches thick but it's actually really firm and really comfortable I have my cushion covers all put together I had to stitch around where the posts are, so that was a heck of a lot of fun. Even cut the foam around the posts. I just have to stitch them shut because once I put the foam inside, and then I have to stitch that back. I unrolled my upholstery fabric find from the store, and look at that fabric. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my gosh, that's such an amazing pattern. So yeah, that's gonna be the bottom. And this lovely purple design is going to be the top. This window has had me baffled for a while. So I cut some stock to fit in there. And then I'm gonna trim the edge. And then I'm going to make some kind of corner piece for right there. Hopefully it'll work. The windows are framed in. And I made these little corners to sit in there. So they're not perfect. But it hides the, hides the weird corner. So I'm happy with it. Got a coat of polyurethane on the walls. And everything's all trimmed. I'm done just have to paint that and I decided I'm gonna paint the ceiling white and then use some painters caulk in those gaps right there why make it harder than it needs to be the windows are all trimmed out look at a curtain and everything's all pretty much ready for the final touches the cushions are made they just got to come out when everything's dry. And I need curtains. And I need door pulls. The cushions are all done. And they are in. And they fit. Just a couple things about them that I'm not happy with. This fabric is actually really rough. Um, and it needs to be altered. It's pretty loose. I painted the ceiling white. Still need to go in and caulk that. I was thinking about putting a rope trim around. I thought that would be kind of cute. I don't know. I still haven't decided yet. But I painted the 
bottom of the bed's white. So that's what the bunks are kind of looking like. Minus the wrinkles one day. I don't know. Maybe I'll even just recover those. I'm not sure. So some last minute final touches kind of thing. Just to check to make sure everything's working. That's my USB fan. Works pretty good. My water is all hooked up. It was a little tricky because that hose wanted to curl up so I had to steam it and then keep it flat. Sorry, that's blurry. And so now it works. How awesome is that? Got my paper towel dispenser all hooked in too. Some last minute final touches that's going to hold my riding helmet, jackets, and whatnot. If you're wondering how I'm going to cook, just this little portable butane stove, which is handy because I can take it outside if I want or cook inside. So that's how I'm going to heat my food. I have yet to install handles, but I did little cabinet latches, so my cabinets will not come open as I'm driving down the road. All the cabinets. All the cabinets have them. They're pretty strong. If you have the burning question, what are you going to do for a bathroom? It's a porta potty. So that's how I'm going to use the bathroom. What about a shower? I got a little collapsible dog bathing tub thing and just hang a shower curtain up there. And I have this, which is a two gallon garden sprayer that I just put part hot water in. So that's how I'm going to take my shower and take care of all that stuff. <laughs>